couple of days later, it was back to work, ferrying the boss's broad and his dipshit of a brother out for the night so they could recover from their brush with mortality. Then again, what did I expect? These were the kind of people who went to nightclubs in helicopters. Fabiana had brought her sister along, presumably so she could show off just how rich and empty her life was. And boy, was she about to learn the meaning of rich and empty. Max! Max! I was speaking to you! Sorry, what was that? Oh, I was saying we get into a lot of scrapes, man. <laughs> well, we're still here. Hey! Thanks to you, Max! I owe you my life. Boom. It wasn't just him, huh, baby? Oh, yes, Marcel. I'm sure you did a lot to save everyone. <laughs> you were probably worried about getting blood on your stash. <laughs> <laughs> Very funny. <laughs> Thank you, Max. I don't know what I would do without my sister. Mmm, we'd spend even more time doing something useful. <laughs> you know she works in the favela. She's the good sister. Oh, shut up. <laughs> what did you hear, Faba? More bodies turned up or people went missing. But it's horrifying. Did someone say Buzz Q? Hey. I'm just kidding, but it is a cold town, man. Hey, here we are. <laughs> I love this place. I love this view. Real chill place to hang, you know? Do a little business, have some fun. I need it too. I've been working far too hard. Like a whore during Fleetchy Weeky, as my roommate used to say. <laughs> you like that, Max? That's pretty funny. Fashion week. My God, Egypt, but it's so beautiful. You know Anastasia? Oh yeah, I know Anna. <laughs> This kind of place made me want to puke. I needed a real drink to deal with the electronic music and the robotic people. Fucking movie from a fucking slum. He acts cool with me. What's that? Nothing. Say, Max, you're a man of the world. What are you fucking doing, man? About what? What do you do about life? Look at me, I'm standing in a nightclub. Listening to music I can't stand. I'm 5,000 miles from home. I'm armed and I'm drinking. You don't want to listen to advice from me, amigo. <laughs> oh, Max, I love you, man. You're fucking real, you know? Oh, shit. People. Fuck them. People get me wrong. I think. I think I love a wrong woman. Oh, excuse me. 
Fabio. Fabio. Thank God he had left. A minute more of his drivel and I would have had to put a bullet in him myself. It soon turned out I wasn't the only one. seen it coming, but that was no surprise. It's hard to keep your eye on the ball through the bottom of a glass. I just hoped I could get to Fabiana and Giovanna in time. I knew if I didn't get to the girls soon, they'd be leaving this place with either a price on their heads or a tag on their toes. The doors had been chained shut. I didn't need my Portuguese for beginners phrase book to work out what was going on. The guy making the noise was the boss. He was sending them around to cut me off from the other side. And sure enough, a few seconds later, I had some company on the dance floor. Another way out through the VIP lounge. Rich fools love a private exit. <laughs> it was your typical trendy hellhole, a playground for the overpreened and undernourished. Sushi and house music and vodka. A place you don't get through the door unless you're rich, beautiful, or in this instance, it seemed, a heavily armed psychopath. I didn't know what they were, but this was a nightclub, and I'd never been a picky eater. I remembered there was a patio upstairs, about the only thing I'd managed. Poor bastard's name was Claudio. I found out later he was a pretty big shot soccer player for the Galatians. Some nearly superstar just back from Europe. The usual, scored goals, scored girls. The only box he'd be getting into now was the one he'd be leaving in. Not good. Some guys took Giovanna and Fabiana. What? Jesus, Max. Hey, I'm on my way. No, no, no. Stay in the chopper. We'll need a way out of here. I'll go find Got the it. girls. Got him. They, they came out of here. They went that way into the lounge. Okay, come here. Go, go. Get up. Get up. We can't stay here. I need you to lock this door behind me. Get everybody else out of here. Son of a bitch.
this unfinished business, and all I could think about was my unfinished scotch. It looked loud and expensive enough to be Fabiana's. Her fashion sense didn't leave a whole lot of room for imagination, let alone food. The girl sure knew how to draw the eye, and maybe that was the problem. But at least I was heading in the right direction. Whatever the hell they were arguing about, it was time for me to add my two cents. Still alive, at least. This crew was starting to look a lot like friends of the gate crashers at last week's party. These guys had some real issues with the Broncos. They were back to finish the job. I figured it was time to start doing mine. I didn't know what they were, but this was a nightclub, and I'd never been a picky eater. This wasn't the time to be second-guessing myself. I had to hurry or I'd lose them. They were headed for the helicopter pad. I had to get to the roof before Giovanna and Fabiana left on a one-way flight. I knew this was going to be a bad idea, but in the continued absence of any good ones, I decided to go with it. What a view. I guess my time in Sao Paulo wasn't quite the paid holiday in the sun I'd been promised. At least I was getting shot at by a bit of class of psychopath. These guys weren't messing around. This place was like Baghdad with G-strings. A couple of more seconds and I'd have given some poor street cleaner a crappy start to his day. Now, I had a ride to catch. All I said! Come on, come on! Jesus, Max! I can't leave you alone for five minutes! What the hell happened in there? They jumped us! Same guys from the party, I think. They grabbed the girls. Marcelo, but he's here now. Yeah, don't worry about me, homie. I'm just a guy paying you lots of money to protect me. Yeah, but were you drinking? Bet your ass I was. You try staying in there for five minutes sober. Oi, oi, look, there they are. Quick, get after them. Are you crazy? You can't just leave her. You're actually gonna do something. Come on, get the rifle back there.
Sorry, I see her. Oh. Uh -huh. goddamn army of these goons. Clearly, somebody wanted these girls bad. Or maybe they just assumed the Bronco's security team consisted of more than a drunk American has-been and a Brazilian never was, who should have paid more attention in flying school. Either way, I needed to find Giovanna before they did.
odds on Giovanna still being alive were getting worse by the second, and if Fabiana wasn't dead already, I was guessing pretty soon she'd start wishing she was. I was up for one god-awful performance review. This was a mess. Where the hell was Passos? We were two failed cops failing miserably at being bodyguards. It was Giovanna's necklace. Now I just had to find the rest of her. Giovanna! Giovanna! Max! Over here! What's happening? Where were you? Are you all right? What do I look all right? Uh, don't worry, we're gonna get you out of here. Passos. Crazy. Is he okay? I had to make a quick detour. He's fine. He's right there. Oh my god. It's Raul! Giovanna! Oh! What the hell are you doing? Giovanna! Ah. <coughs> hey! No, nothing. Go. Seems like I wasn't the only guy around here who had taken his eye off the ball. Are you okay? My weakness was the drink. Passos was the sister. Things were turning pretty ugly in this town. The boss's girl was gone, and part of me wished I was too.